Now, could the days of wondering where on earth your bus is be coming to an end? A new internet service is being offered by Transport for London, which allows people to track the progress of their chosen service in real time. The aim? To allow commuters to time their arrival at the bus stop to perfection. But will it work and will it catch on? Let's ask Matthew Morris, who's at Warren Street Station for us now. Matthew. Very good evening to you, Riz. I've spent much of the day putting this technology to the test. So I'm looking right now on the TFL website. I updated this a few seconds ago. It's saying we've got a couple of buses due there, and we do actually have a number 29. Let's have a look. Is that the number 29? No, that's already supposed to have gone. So there's a bit of a, a lag here, but pretty much through the day, I think things have been working uh, as clockwork. But will it actually change the way that people travel? The map may confuse, timetables may not help, and the latest way to get information won't stop three buses coming at once. But it will give you real-time updates on where your bus is. I'm standing on Millbank looking at the TfL mobile site and it tells me on my smartphone that the next 87 bus is due, which means we've got about 90 seconds for that to arrive. Now the idea is if you're in the shops, you're at home, you don't have to uh, come out and wait in the cold, you time your arrival perfectly and it tallies, we're told, with these new signs. That's the uh, 87, so I think it made it in the 90 seconds just about. Uh, I'm expecting to find my bus. Say I come out here, but then it's, it's actually gone. Is there any chance that it could actually arrive two minutes before? No, we hope not, because this is actually real-time data. It's coming directly from the buses themselves. The bus data is being made freely available, so developers can create applications or apps for smartphones and then charge for them. There was a 69p and a, and a £1.99. Could there not be a free app? Well, what we're doing, and the Mayor's very keen on this, is putting open data out there for people to develop apps, and that's a key part of our strategy. There'll be frustration not all of London's bus stops will have these countdown signs. And what about those who don't like fancy phones? Do you have a smartphone? No. So you would have to pay 12p with a text every time you did this. Would you pay that? I wouldn't. It's too expensive? Too expensive. According to this, you've got four minutes to wait. Is it helpful to know that? Yes, of course it is. Not really. That's not of interest to you? Not really. You're happy to come to the bus and just bus stop and wait for and it? wait. It gives me time to think. Good idea or not? It is. I'm a bus driver, so... <laughs> OK, so we're now on Victoria Street. The 24 is due and there it is, but just behind it is a 148. On here it says it's two minutes away, but I can see it just coming up behind there. Having said that, I have to say most of the buses we've seen this morning have been running on time. London's bus users will be hoping that does not change. This is all part of a £21 million project. You can imagine some people being a bit fed up with that price tag if they're not directly benefiting from this technology, but it is technology that's constantly evolving. There'll be many more developments like this one. Looks interesting. Matthew, thank you. Tottenham Hotspur.